Hello everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming, and in this special request RPG Maker MV tutorial, I'm going to help Cap Sorty figure out part of her trading card game uh, eventing process. So, Cap Sorty asks, and she says, awesome videos I just subbed. I created a mini card game for MV, but can't figure out one thing I hope maybe you could help me with. I have a villager that helps the that gives the main character a random card from 10. Sometimes the villager will give out the same card twice or sometimes even four times. How can I set it up so the villager only gives out one of each card and when all the cards have been given out, the villager says you have all the cards. Any help would be appreciated. Love your channel. Keep up the awesome work. Okay, Cap Sorty. <clears throat> what we're going to do first is we're going to go to the database. And you probably have already done this, but we're going to create our 10 cards. Once you've done that, we need to allocate 10 switches and one variable. So we've got our villager event here. At the very top, we're doing a show text saying here, take a random card. Then we're going to do a control variable. So right click, insert new control variables, create a new variable, call it random card. Set it to a random number between 1 and 10. Underneath that, we're going to initiate a loop. So you're going to right click, insert new, somewhere, uh, insert new. Loop is on tab 1 under flow control, so open up a loop. Underneath the loop, we're going to do 10 conditional statements. Uh, the first one is going to do, um, it's going to check if card 10 is on, so we're going to create 10 switches now. We're going to do um, conditional branch, select switch, go to an area where you have uh, 10 free spaces, change maximum if you have to, create 10 switches called card 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way down to 10. So we're going to select if this switch is on. Uh, underneath 10, do the same thing. Uh, right, right click, insert new conditional branch, checking if the switch 9 is on. Then 8 all the way down to 1. Uh, if all the switches are on, you're going to show text and say congratulations, you have all the cards. Then you're going to control a self switch. Turn self switch A on. And then break the loop. Make sure you break the loop, otherwise it'll just keep telling you that over and over and over. So break loop is tab 1, under flow control, break loop. Uh, then we're going to create a new event page. This event page is just going to check for self switch A on, and it's going to say the same thing. Congratulations, you've collected all the cards. So if the player keeps talking to this uh, NPC, it just says you have all the cards. Underneath all of that, we're going to do a conditional statement saying if the rent now we're checking for a variable so right click insert new conditional branch and we're going to say variable so that variable that we created the random card one if that is equal to one then do this uh, you're also going to check else handler actually you're not you're not going to check else handler for the variable you'll do the else handler for the switch so this one you're going to uh, the conditional branch random card equal to one Underneath that, you're going to do another conditional that says uh, if card 1 is off. Uh, it's important that you say off for this one. So insert new conditional branch for the switch. Card 1 is off. So you'll have to select that off. And this one, you do create else branch. Underneath that, you're going to show an animation if desired. You're going to change items awarding the first card. Then you're going to show text saying you got an item. You can just say card one here, or you can do forward slash ii, and then input the number of the item that is card one. For me, if we look in the database, card one is starting on 201, and I put them in this order so that 201 is card one, 202 is card two, all the way down to 210 is card 10, just to make it simple. <clears throat> so after that um, show text, we're gonna control a switch and we're going to turn on card one switch. So right click, insert new control switch, turn on the card one switch. Then we're going to break the loop. So right click, insert new, break loop is going to be under flow control. On the else handler for the, the switch conditional, you're going to do control variables. Basically, you're going to copy paste this first one you did. Control variables, random card equal set one to 10. Just copy that, paste it in every else handler. <clears throat> so that was for card one. Beautiful thing is you could just copy paste this whole thing, copy that, paste it down here. So it'll it'll be an exact exact replica. All you're gonna do is change the numbers. So now the conditional statement is saying if the variable card is equal to two, 
So just change the 1 to a 2. Then you're going to change this switch from card 1 to card 2 is off with the else handler. And then all this should be the same. You're just going to change this item to give card 2. And change this text from the first item to the second item from 201 to 202 in my case. You don't even have to do that. Uh, control switches. Now you're going to turn off instead of card 1, you're going to or turn on card 2. So the, the first time we're turning on card 1, this time we're turning on card 2. And then don't forget the break loop. On the else handler, same thing. We're just uh, doing control variables, uh, controlling the random card variable, random number, setting it to 1 to 10. Random number, 1 to 10. And that's just something you can copy paste. So copy paste that whole thing change all the numbers to 3. So this variable is 3. This switch is 3 off else handler. Awarding item card 3. Updating the text so that it's saying you're getting card 3. And turning on card 3 switch. Break the loop. Control the variable. Stay, the control variable stays the same because it's still ro uh, rolling a random number. Copy paste that for 4. You see what we're doing here, just do the same thing. Uh, change the random uh, number to 4. And then the switch, change the switch to 4. Change the item to 4, the text to 4. Turn on card 4 switch, break the loop. Same random card, random 1 to 10. Do the same thing for 5, <clears throat> 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. At the very end, that's all you're going to have to do except... Um, yeah, that's it, because we've already done the, the self switch. So let's take a look at this in game. All right, so we talked to her once. Here, take a random card. We got card eight. We got card three, card two. She'll never give us the same card twice. Card four, card seven. Card 9, card 6, card 5, so we're missing 1 and 10 here, card 10, card 1, congratulations, you've collected all the cards, and if we were to talk to her again, she just says we've got all the cards. So hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, remember to thumbs up, like, favorite, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thank you for your request. This was a fun tutorial to do. I had fun uh, doing some eventing and everything. So I really appreciate you guys asking me these comments and uh, asking me these for these special requests. Um, thank you for uh, watching this video. Thank you for being awesome. And if you have any more suggestions, leave them in the comments below. We will see you in the next tutorial.